guys, it's me, Jackson, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to go from image to 3D model with MakerWorld's new feature, image to 3D model. So first, you're going to go to MakerWorld.com, and then from here, you're going to go to Maker Lab. And then you're going to scroll down until you see image to 3D model. It should be one of the first ones. You're going to click on it. You're going to do drag or draw or select file. I'm going to do this file right here. You click on it, click open. And then I wouldn't mess with the model type. And then you're going to click generate. So now that it's brought in, as you can see, it is really detailed. And then so you can look, about, look at it, whatever. And then now that I like it, I'm going to go export. And then it's going to cost you about two credits. But if you have any Make World points, it's like 50. For like 100 credits, so it's not that expensive. So then click confirm. And I have a T1S with a 0.4 nozzle. Click confirm. And then here, you could either pick from STO, which is just the model, 3MF, which is the 3D model for 3D printers that is fully colored, or GLBs for like games and stuff like that. But I'm gonna do a 3MF, that's the most popular option. So it's a colored 3D print. Hit download. And then sometimes the download process takes a while, so just be prepared to wait. You got this downloaded. I'm gonna double click to open. I'm gonna open. And then now to have this colored, you have to have a later Baby Baby Studio version. So right now this is colored. And it's nine different colors, just I only have four. And it's gonna take forever to print. So you can either print like this or take out the, some colors, but I'm gonna take all the colors except for one of them. So I'm only gonna print it in one color. So as in black, and then I'm gonna make it shiny black. So, but black is already black, so I'm gonna click slice. And then you wanna make sure the supports are on. So if you don't see these three supports, what you're gonna do is gonna go to global, click support, click turn on, click tree auto. And then you would just slice it again and then print it. And then now let's go print it and see how it turns out. And here's how it turned out. I hope you use this feature yourself. And please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye, Jackson out.